Welcome, my name is Tien and I'm pleased to welcome you to our info session on the MBA program at Curtin Singapore. Curtin Singapore is pleased to share a new program launch in 2022 for the Master of Business Administration. This webinar aims to provide you with key information about our MBA program and for you to find out how you can take your career further with a degree from Curtin University in Singapore. In this webinar, I would like to thank you, our participants and our speaker, Dr. Dorothy Wardell, who is dialing in with us from Perth, Australia. Just a little housekeeping before we get started. If you have any questions during the session, please click on the Q&A button on the bottom of your screen and type in your questions. I bring them up at the end of the session and we will have time for questions and answer. Our speaker today is Dr. Dorothy Wardell, MBA Director from the Faculty of Business and Law at Curtin University. Without further ado, I will now hand over to our speaker, Dr. Dorothy Wardell, over to you, please. Thanks very much, Tien. It's uh, very nice to, to be here. Uh, thank you, everybody. Um, I wish I was there with you in person, and um, I'm really looking forward to visiting the fantastic new campus that you have. So I've been the MBA director for a couple of years. I've actually been associated with the Curtin MBA for about three years. I've taught in, the, um, in various programs, various units within the course. So I do know a little bit about it, and I'll be very happy to ask your questions um, later. So why study a Curtin MBA? Well, maybe you're thinking about taking the next step in your career. You might be thinking about a promotion um, or you might be thinking about switching directions and exploring an entirely new career or maybe pivoting from your career into something slightly different. I think the other thing about an MBA is it really helps to develop lifelong learning skills and certainly it should expand your professional networks. And I think that that's going to be particularly um, true for the MBA in um, Singapore because you will be doing face-to-face -face classes. We can do the content of MBAs very well online, uh, but we can't do the contacts as well so, uh, as so well online. So I think that it really helps to expand your professional networks. But why study one of our why study our MBA at Curtin? Well, um, I'm going to talk a little bit more about each of these, but basically we're very pleased with our global rankings and accreditations. We, we are industry connected. <clears throat> we have a dedicated support team in Perth, um, working with the academic support team in Singapore. So we'll be wrapping a lot of support around you. We know that you're very busy and don't have time to um, do some of the the, um, the more mundane aspects of uh, study, creating study plans and enrolling and so on. So we can certainly wrap those, uh, that support around you. And we have flexible study options, entry pathways and course structure. And as I say, I'm going to explain a little bit more about each of those. So you can see here, we we are, we're very proud to say that we're triple accredited. That puts us in the top 1% of elite business schools globally. So we have Equus accreditation, and this is a European accreditation, and that's for our business school. We're the only business school in Western Australia to hold a five-year accreditation by Equus. It's very difficult to get. We got it last year, and that's absolutely um, a feather in our cap. Um, we also, for the MBA program, again, last year, we have a European accreditation called EFMD. And this, again, we are the only course in Western Australia to, to hold that. And one of only um, four, in, with the only one in Western Australia and only four of Australia wide. And we've also, um, sorry, that last one, the, uh, the logo is incorrect there. We also have what we call AACSB, and that's an American accreditation. And so basically what all this is telling us is that our peers across many universities and experts from various universities around um, the, 
the Europe and North America have looked in on our school and what they've said, you're very good. You're, you are um, somebody who, your, your organization is, is, some, is an organization that we want to um, uh, provide accreditation for. And um, we also have some fantastic global rankings. So for example, we're in the top four in Australia for our online MBA and the only one in Western Australia. And um, we've got Ed Universal Business School rankings and we've got the Palms uh, Excellence. And we're also a signatory to the UN principles for responsible management. And you'll see in a little while um, how we pick that up in some of our programs. So as well as being having good accreditations and rankings, we're very pleased with our industry connectedness. So we have a fantastic industry advisory network and we're very pleased that we have a, um, a person from Singapore in that we have um, somebody from the Singapore equivalent of their Chamber of Commerce and he is, sits on our advisory network. Fantastic uh, contribution from him. We have teaching staff from um, with very strong industry backgrounds. So one of the things that you'd be looking for in any MBA, we hope you choose us, but any MBA would be teaching staff who've got very strong academic backgrounds, but also industry backgrounds, because it's important that you are that you're industry connected. You're all working, um, most, most of you will be working full time and you want people who can be very practical in their approach. So we pride ourselves on the fact that what you learn today, you'll be able to apply tomorrow or within the next week. We have guest lectures, fantastic guest lecturers would be coming in to, to provide information to you, great case studies. We have, um, we have a, um, various networking events. So in Perth, we have a program called the MBA Engage uh, event. And in Singapore, there's the Business Leaders Series. Both of these are networking sessions where you can uh, attend in face -to -face, uh, either face-to-face -face or online. And um, we don't offer everyone both face-to-face -face and online, but you can choose. So you could come online to some of the Perth events and some of our students would come online to some of your business leaders series. Um, and these are usually a, a person or a panel of speakers who provides some fantastic information. And then you would uh, usually have some um, uh, hospitality that would facilitate your networking. Study, um, you can study alongside fellow students from a variety of industries and across campuses. And there's an extensive global alumni network, which I think that that shouldn't be um, underestimated. So we also provide great support. So I've got a picture here of one of my team members who is based in Perth. This is Bibi, our client engagement coordinator, and she would help you uh, with your study plans, enrolments, and any help that you might need. Come, returning to study after a period of time can be a bit daunting. And also when you're working full time and you're studying part time, which many of you will want to do that, trying to find your way around systems and so on can be a bit daunting. And if not daunting, it can at least be time consuming. We don't want you having to do that. So we have a designated support person for, uh, for all the people in the MBA and graduate certificate um, who, who helps you with that. So even though she's based in Perth, she would be your, your go-to person. We also have our academic staff and um, whether you're studying um, you know, in, in, in Perth, but you will be studying in Singapore, you will have a, a number of people in your academic support team who can support you. Um, again, you know, it might be help with writing skills, returning to study after a while might be difficult. You might come from an engineering background or a finance background and now you're expected to um, do assessments that are um, not something that you used to do in your undergraduate time. And we can assist you with helping, we can assist you with that through your academic support team. 
And we have tailored library and career workshops. We have an extended orientation. We don't bombard you too, with too much information in your first uh, week. And we, we extend that over a period of time. And then we also have a designated portal, which we call the MBA Hub, where you can find pretty much everything that you would need, things about our events, things that are coming up, frequently asked questions, all of those sorts of things if you if, if just there at your disposal so that you don't have to um, find your way around the Curtin uh, websites. So we have some flexible uh, study options, as I mentioned. So in black, I've highlighted the things that are peculiar for, or no, not peculiar, specific uh, to, to the Singapore offering. So we um, have evening classes, uh, um, 5.30 to 8.30 will be the evening classes. And that's one class per week per unit for a 12 week uh, trimester. So, there are selected units available each trimester. We're encouraging people to take a couple of units per trimester. So one might be on a Monday night, another one might be on a Wednesday night, um, and, and you would attend for, the, for that class. Um, initially, the offering will be part-time, although we are exploring full-time options, and we'll talk a little bit more about that in a moment, but part-time initially, and we're encouraging you to take a couple of uh, units, which we think is quite doable. I, um, I know the work ethic of our, our MBAs, so studying part-time and working full-time is quite, is quite achievable. Um, you might want to continue, uh, you might want to continue through your study quite quickly. In that case, it would take you a couple of years, or you might want to take some breaks. And if that's the case, maybe you've got something very busy is happening at work, or you have got some family commitments, you would apply for some a leave of absence and you would take a break for that trimester. There are two intakes a year. And the first intake is in September and that the 5th of September, you would be starting. We, we would love to see you um, at that time. Um, or we also have another intake in May, in early May. So you'd apply beforehand so that we've got plenty of time to, to onboard you and, and get you started. And there are also, it's also online uh, learning. That's another option. And also intensives and blendeds may be available in the future. For us, an intensive, is uh, four and a half days, one evening actually, and four days, maybe a Friday, Saturday, and then uh, miss, miss a couple of weeks and then another Friday, Saturday, um, and then all your contact hours are done. Um, and blended is just a weekend, um, and then the rest would be online. So we've got a variety of different teaching nodes that, that you can choose from. Initially though, it would be evening classes. Sorry. So we also have further flexibility, and this is in terms of the entry pathway. So the first entry pathway that I've, I've put there is in your graduate certificate. So this is 100 credits or the equivalent. Each, each of our units is um, 25 credit points. And so you would do 100 credits or four units and we're suggesting that this might take you two trimesters. It doesn't have to, you might just do one unit for your first trimester, and therefore it's going to take you a couple of months. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about the graduate certificate. And then the, then the MBA, which probably most of you are aiming for, um, would be 300 credits, so 12 units, if we're assuming a couple of units per trimester, this is going to be six trimesters part-time, and that's going to therefore take you a couple of years. And don't forget, you've got a lot of other things happening in that couple of years. So the MBA is um, eight core units, and then you choose a specialisation. Now, either your specialisation, oh, sorry, eight core units, and your specialisation would be four units. So either your specialisation would be business administration or leadership. If you're doing the leadership units, obviously you will do um, all the units relate to leadership. 
If you're doing business administration, there's units around um, corporate governance, there's um, another <clears throat> unit, another an additional more advanced finance unit, um, data analytics units and so on. So we, we would um, provide you with um, four units there. So quite different units um, between the two and that allows you to, to specialise. So let me just explain a little bit more, <coughs> excuse me, about your MBA and the core unit. So first of all, we've refreshed the MBA this year, and we now say it's an MBA for 21st century leaders with a conscience. We're really proud of our MBA, and we think that it sets you up very well to be a person who makes wise and ethical decisions, who understands about sustainability, the environment and governance. So our eight core units, the, the ones in red are core to the graduate certificate, so the first four units. Um, so we've got organisational behaviour, and this is a great unit in terms of looking at yourself, your team and your organisation. We've got an economics unit, and then we've got a unit called executive financial decision making. Now, we used to have a couple of units in one called accounting and one called finance. But what we realised was the, the people who were attracted into the MBA, like yourselves, are typically middle managers. They actually don't do the accounting and the finance. They, they don't need to know how to do the calculations or you already are working in that area and you already know how to do the calculations. So what we look at here is uh, we're looking at an, a unit that helps you to make wise and ethical financial decisions. And then we have some other units, um, one global business sustainability, synergizing marketing. And don't think of marketing as sales, think of marketing as a strategy unit, organizational strategy, strategic operations management, which links into supply chain and so on and then a really great MBA capstone. So there are eight, eight core units. If you were doing the graduate certificate, you would do the units there in red plus one optional unit. So we've got, um, mainly we're looking at, uh, oops, sorry. Mainly at the moment, we're looking at part-time starting in September and there would be two intakes per year, September and May. Um, you would do one or two units per trimester. If you wanted to finish in a short period of time, in that seven months, then you would look at the, um, the trying to do two units. Um, it's ideal for those people who are working. And obviously, um, part-time for you would be Singaporean citizens or those with a working pass. We're also looking to start the MBA full-time in May. And if you were studying full-time, it would be three units per trimester. And this would be for domestic or international um, students. So how do you apply? Of course, we hope that you all will. So if you're looking at just a few words about eligibility. So a graduate certificate in business, as I mentioned, is four units. It's the first four of the 12 units of the MBA. So you don't have to do a graduate certificate in business and then do an MBA. It is the first part of the MBA. So typically, though, people who are attracted to this unit don't have an undergraduate degree and you are looking, but you've got extensive work experience, at least eight years work experience of which at least five of those is at a managerial supervisory team, team leader level. And without an undergraduate degree, you need to be at least 30 years of age. The, um, now, you don't have to, if you are just wanting to test the water, you want to say, oh, maybe I would like to do an MBA, but I don't want to commit to 12 units. You might come into the graduate certificate in business anyway. Just do four, and then you can leave with an exit award, and then you could even then you could come back and do the the MBA. With the MBA, for those people who want to be able to say put to their employer, I'm I'm actually um, an MBA candidate. I'm already doing an MBA, and um, then 
you would need to have an undergraduate degree or the above. You need to have a graduate certificate in business with a course weighted average of 70%. You need to have at least five years work experience of which at least three of those years as is at a managerial supervisory or project leader level. And you need to be at least 26 years of age. You can see we're very keen for the MBA experience for you to be with other middle and senior managers. We are not, if, this, if you're interested in rolling straight on from an undergrad into a postgrad, then, we, then this is not the course for you. So the average age, typical MBA student at the moment is 35, um, 35, and the age range is from 30 through to 50 years of age, typically um, middle and senior managers. We have a good balance of men and women on the program, slightly more men, but a, a good balance of men and women on the program. And it's from the, the MBA, typical MBA student is from a broad range of sectors mining engineers, construction, consulting, health, and, and so on. And um, if you don't have the significant work experience, the MBA or the grad cert is not really, not really suitable for you. So how, how do you apply? Well, I've put up there, and these slides I believe will be made available. I've put up there the, um, the you would contact the information at curtain.edu.singapore. And round one, you, you need to put in your um, CV. Now in that CV, I, I'll be looking at these. I'm the person who assesses your application. And so in that CV, I do need you to make it quite clear what your, that you have significant work experience, at least the five or the eight years. Um, I need to see that you have been a manager, a coordinator, a team leader, a project manager, a director. I need to see those things. Otherwise, I, I can't progress you through to the next stage. Um, a personal statement of about 400 to 600 words. We need a copy of um, transcripts for those people who, your degrees, for those people who want to apply straight into the MBA, and also two, refer two references. Once we get through that and we say, yes, that looks fantastic, then you would have a one-on-one -on -one interview either with myself or the PVC um, Singapore, who at the moment is uh, Professor Lindley Lord, probably with me. We have an, um, a meeting, um, a, uh, an online meeting, and uh, you, I ask you a few questions, very simple questions really, you know, why, why an MBA, why now, and can you just tell me a little bit more about the key parts of your managerial experience. But also in that interview, you get to ask me some um, questions just to make sure that there is a fit between what you want and what we can provide. So I think that is the end of my presentation. We would really invite you to um, have questions and I'm going to hand back to Tien. Thank you.